happen like that. Juan, how's it looking this morning? <laughs> we do have some showers that are beginning to increase across the area this morning, folks. We're taking a live look over into uh, Matagorda Bay. We have some showers that are falling out near Port O'Connor. And as we move off into the uh, Rockport area, looking at the Rockport Marina, we have some downpours that are still occurring pretty close to an inch of rain out there as well. 64 degrees in a north northeasterly wind to 25. 200 over in I-37 in Suntide as rainfall is beginning to come and dampen the roadway. So you want to use caution on the early morning commute. And uh, we are reporting some uh, thunderstorm activity over at Corpus Christi International now 71 degrees there 68 over in Beeville 81 in Kingsville as well as off in the rops down but 64 off in Rockport so again a wide range of uh, temperatures across the region and showers are starting to blossom early this morning as well as take a close look at what we have going on mainly some light to moderate showers that are occurring here in Corpus Christi light shower activity onto the south side and stretching out towards Flower Bluff but more moderate in nature here in downtown Corpus Christi stretching up towards the uh, Portland and out near Ingleside by the Bay, Arantis Pass here included. And again, Robstown, Cal Allen starting to get some shower activity too. We are continuing to watch this batch of showers and storms that was here early this morning out near Rockport, and that's slowly pushing off into the Gulf of Mexico. But out near Sitton, Odom, and Edroy, out near Sandia, and out near Orange Grove, near Sandy Hollow, we have some moderate downpours that are coming down. None of this is severe at this point, uh, but more shower activity going along 77 from Driscoll Bishop down into Kingsville and uh, stretching down even further south towards Rivera as well and out near Baffin Bay and this is just the start of it folks there is a uh, way more activity off to the west of us out near Laredo and out pushing near Zapata County and again all this activity is going to be moving into our region as we head throughout the day today so for that we do have a severe thunderstorm watch that has now been in effect or put into effect I should say by the National Weather Service here in Corpus Christi that lasts until one o'clock some of these storms can have a lot of wind some large hail uh, lots of lightning associated with it as well some localized flash flooding is there as well, all courtesy of an upper level disturbance that is making its way finally into the northern parts of the uh, Lone Star State, and it's going to send one of these disturbances right through South Texas, and that's why we'll see the increased shower activity for today. Here is the future clouds rain going on to 10 o'clock this morning, and as you can already see, lots of showers and storms across the area lasting through about 1 o'clock. Notice this is showing a bow out there, so again, some of these storms could push out 60, 70 mile an hour winds as well, so we'll have to watch this very, very closely, and some locations could pick up anywhere easily between 2 to 4 inches of rain, but some uh, could push up to 8 inches of rain as well, so you want to keep the umbrella handy. If you have to venture out and about today, definitely use caution out there as we we'll have numerous storms as we look at the uh, snapshot for forecast 80 degrees with an east southeasterly wind at 10 to 15. By tonight, though, the storms will be exiting 67 and a light easterly wind at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. So numerous showers and storms today tapering off later on tonight on into Thursday, but we pick it back up to scattered levels. Not a whole lot as far as numerous or likely, but scattered Friday, Saturday and Sunday and uh, take it down even further early next week with only isolated showers. All right, folks, the second hour of sunrise is coming up.